Hello everybody, it's Friday the 5th of February and we've just come out for a little walk. The sun is shining, it's quite warm. I think it's about seven or eight degrees and look at this, we have got daffodils out. There we go, a few daffodils. The really sad thing is that the temperatures are about to drop tomorrow and we shall have snow apparently in copious quantities for this part of the world. Um, quite a few of these daffodils out, they're not going to last through the minus temperatures that are predicted. So uh, that's going to be a bit of a shame really. They think spring has sprung mm. and it hasn't. But look at the numbers of them that there's going to be if they can just hang on through this next yeah. week yeah so we're going down for a little walk on the beach i think since it's sunny i don't know whether you can hear the sea roaring there it is Quite choppy by the look of it. Good little, substantial little waves. Eh? Yeah. Tide is out. Give the jigging, I'm going down the steps. Woo! There we are. Did wonder whether we'd see our local seal out basking in the sunshine, but oh, there's a ship out there on the horizon. Looks like a navy ship, that one. Yeah, we get quite a lot of tankers uh, queuing up here. I think it may be, is it Sheerness they go into? There's the beach. That's looking down towards Dunwich. And then if we pan round, we could go down towards Dunwich, couldn't we? Yeah. And then back along there. That's where Sizewell is, the nuclear power station. So usually when we come down to the beach, we walk this way towards the power station and up through the National Trust area and back along the path of the road. Oh, nearly tripped. But today, Carol thinks we're going to go the other way. So we'll go down towards Dunwich, which we did. If you've seen our last video on there, we did that uh, walk along the road to Dunwich. So we'll go this way today. I don't know whether we'll go all the way round. We might do. Quite steep here down to the... Sandy part of the beach. There we go. I'm down. I think Carol's going to look for a slightly less of a slope. She's always a bit worried about slipping, falling, and pulling her back. Well, you can see on here, the foam on that water. That, I would say, is pollutant. I don't know. 
certainly. Is it ice? <laughs> or is it just bubbles? Yeah. It's just along this bit. So something creating foam in the water there. Oh. <laughs> it nearly got me then. That's coming quite quite strong. Carol. Give us a wave, Carol. You can't hear me. <whistles> no. You can't hear me. This is quite interesting because there's a sort of sandy bit here, the shingle there. The tide comes right up the top there. Not where Carol is, but the next lower down. Generally, you've got this sort of sandy bit, and then it goes to shingle again. Quite interesting. So I think the shingle is sort of a a layer on top of sand. It was very, very stormy a couple of days. There she comes! There she comes! There she comes! Let's just film this in case. Hey! There she is. Yeah. The sun is really warm on my back. I'm glad I didn't put a jumper on, yeah. as well as my coat. Yeah. So we're going to walk along there to Dunwich and possibly back along through the woods. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. See if we can do the round trip. <clears throat> Be quite nice. See how long this takes us. Yeah. So tomorrow we will have been inoculated two weeks. Um, so we'll be starting to get some immunity, hopefully. Uh, I think three weeks is the optimum, isn't it? Yeah. They say for the yeah. Pfizer. Uh, for the first jab um, and then we just wait for the second jab which we have to have if it's the 12 weeks um, by the middle of April is it before or after your birthday before before your birthday yeah so hopefully that will then be well into all the inoculations across the country And perhaps things will be a little bit freer and we'll be able to go places. We have plans. We have plans. It's exciting. They'll probably have to change, but we've got plans. <laughs> Every plan we've had so far in the last 18 months has had to change. So why should it be any different? Look at that, you can see up there, yeah. somebody's uh, camp campsite up there. That's not the campsite we're on, that's the one next to us. And they're right by the cliff edge. So, they've got a hedge along the edge, hedge along the edge. Um, but I can quite see that, losing that in the next couple of years. Uh, I wouldn't put a high value on that little home. 
There we go. I might film a bit more, so maybe see you later. God bless. Bye for now. Under the sun